The Army is launching a new Special Forces unit to make the SAS and SBS more lethal and agile than ever before. The crack new unit will be drawn from troops across the Army. British Army will develop Army Special Operations Forces which are specially trained units with the skills to deal with high-risk environments. The unit will support special forces with cyber, electronic warfare and information operations capabilities, through special reconnaissance and human analysis. It is part of a major overhaul of the armed forces to make them fit for the wars of the future. New tactics will see regular troops deployed in smaller, self-sufficient units known as brigade combat teams in order to react more quickly when crises emerge. There will also be a new focus on urban warfare. The Army plans to ditch all petrol and diesel cars by 2035 and invest in new technologies that will sustain up to 10,000 jobs. The world is facing global threats, such as climate change, economic uncertainty, humanitarian crises and pandemics. To meet these threats, the British Army must be more agile, more integrated and more lethal than ever before. The Army is set to lose 10,000 troops as the Ministry of Defence invests in cutting-edge new weapons including lasers and high-speed missiles. It also expected to lose around 80 Challenger 2 tanks and more than 700 Warrior Armoured fighting vehicles which are increasingly vulnerable to high-tech drones and missile attacks. But there will still be a role for armoured troops and mechanised infantry units to seize and hold ground as well as specialist air assault forces backed by long-range artillery, attack helicopters and resupply drones. The Army will reduce the risk of large formations by physically dispersing and by using electronic deception to effectively hide their electronic footprint, this is the plans for the future land combat system state. In future, the Army will have to operate below the threshold of conflict. This might mean operating in cyberspace or providing a show of physical strength on land and air. The new Land Special Operations Force will blend physical presence with remote digital information activities to boost Britain's partners and check the advance of hostile states and violent extremists. Troops will also spend more time deployed abroad in a network of bases known as Land Regional Hubs. The government plans to invest in bases in Kenya, Oman, Singapore, Cyprus, Gibraltar and Germany so forces can respond more quickly, with a new focus on the Indo-Pacific. The army will no longer simply deploy on an isolated exercise and immediately return home. Instead, enabled by these land regional hubs, soldiers will be able to deploy for several months to a region to exercise and conduct additional regional activity. The army will be reinforced by a very high readiness global response force which will be ready to respond to the full range of crises from humanitarian relief through to combat operations. And now the British Army is launching a trailblazing experimentation battle group which will pit soldiers, new equipment, technology and tactics against the hybrid and conventional threats posed by terrorist, proxy and state adversaries. The battalion will lead in trialing technology, tactics and techniques and their integration into the way soldiers operate and fight. Troops and equipment will be pushed to their limits, driving transformation and ensuring the army can get ahead of the ever-changing threats. They will use cutting-edge experimentation and will sit on the cusp of the military or industrial interface. Minister for the Armed Forces, James Hiappi, said, With every great advance in technology comes an advance in the way we fight. The British Army has a proud tradition of experimenting and innovating with new technologies during each of the previous industrial revolutions. As we enter this new age of big data, automation and artificial intelligence, it's important that the new experimentation battle group will be able to build on that tradition and integrate these latest advances into our force structures, equipment requirements and tactics. The new organization will draw on the heritage of previous experimental units during earlier industrial revolutions. These include the experimental corps of riflemen in the Napoleonic campaign who introduced rifles, sharpshooting and skirmishing tactics, and the experimental mechanized force formed in 1927 to investigate and develop the techniques and equipment required for armored warfare. Two Yorks already spearheads the Army's Enhanced Light Force Battalion concept, part of a £120 million three-year program that is transforming how future soldiers in the light infantry role will operate and fight.